This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo IdeaPad N585 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo IdeaPad N585 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or most other laptop computers, we need to disconnect all sources of power and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over and slide the two levers on top of the battery outward and then slide the battery out like so. And while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. There's a label, a gray label, and it says Lenovo IdeaPad 585. In this case, it's cut off a little bit, but most likely in your case, you'll be able to see it over here. Okay, let's flip the laptop back over again and take a look. In order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. And that's the plastic frame around the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic covers. Before we get to that part, I will show you what tools we're going to use for this job. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and to manipulate any cables. And we have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife and that's to remove the screw covers and also to lift up adhesive tape. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is remove the screw covers. And we use our X-Acto knife to remove it and put it to the side. Looks like it's stuck on the bottom, so we'll just leave it there. And same thing on the other side. So what I like to do usually is stick them to the side so I can easily find them later. Once we do that, we take our electronic screwdriver and remove the two screws at the bottom. It's going to be a little bit at an angle, but it's easy enough to reach. We remove one and the second one. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile on the side so when we're putting the laptop back together I can keep track of which screw goes where so we take this screw and also put it on the side. Once we do remove the two bottom screws we snap off the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen and what I like to do for this step is put my fingertips or fingernails inside the screen bezel and gently lift up and out like so and listen for snapping sounds while we're doing this work your way around the screen and if you get stuck at any point just skip that place and keep going and then come back to that place later so this is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure but it's not too hard so we keep going around like so. Once we snap it off at all the places, we tilt, we tilt the screen bezel forward and it lifts out like so. Okay, let's take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted to metal mounting brackets on the sides of the screen. So we have to get to the screws to, on the sides of the screen and that means we have to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly. In order to do that, we first remove the two screws at the top. And so we start a separate pile again. One. And two. Once we do that, we tilt the screen forward and we see there's four screws on each side. We can get to the top three, but the bottom one we still can't get to. So we have a trick for that. There's two screws at the bottom, one, one right here, 
and one right here that are holding the metal mounting back of the screen, back of the screen assembly. And what I like to do is loosen those maybe two, three turns so we can tilt the screen forward more. Just enough so we can reach the bottom screw. So once we loosen these screws, we can see that we reach the bottom screw and we can remove it and once again we start in the next pile and this way we go around and remove all screws like so and when you do this make sure that the screen assembly is tilted backwards so when you remove all the screws the screen just doesn't fall forward on you I'm going to keep the top screw in for now so it's easier to remove the screws on the inside and I remove it afterward. So once again, start with the bottom screw and go work your way up. That's three and the fourth one. I'm going to remove this fourth one and the screen will fall back a little bit once we remove that. And we go back to the other side and remove the fourth one here also. Like so. Once we do that, then we can gently start toting the screen forward, make sure it's not getting stuck on anything, and put it down. Okay, one note for this particular laptop model, there's a cable on the side of the screen that gets loose when you remove the screen. So before you install it again, you have to tuck it back in and then you can use the tweezers to tuck it back into the slots. So just something to be careful about. Okay, let's take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, there's only one connector that we need to remove and it's down here and it's hiding behind some adhesive tape. So what we do is we use our X-Acto knife to lift up the adhesive tape and then use our fingertips and also the back of the video cable has some adhesive tape too. Once we lift up all the adhesive tape, we grab with both our fingertips, both hands on the back and gently pull backwards and the cable is disconnected. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. You slide it back in, and when you slide it back in, you feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close up. Pause the video right here. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. This is a good connection. Okay, let's pull the video cable back out again and let's take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen and as of mid 2013 it's the most common screen that goes on laptops. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number you're looking for is LP156WH4. LP156WH4. When you receive the screen the part number will most likely not be the same but the screen will look identical with the connection in the same place. There's six or seven different vendors that make the exact same compatible screen. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit comes from free with every screen that you sell. We also have a two-year warranty on all the screens that we sell and we have free email technical support. So if you have a problem with the installation, send us, send us email and we'll walk you through it. Finally, uh, we have fast shipping. We use priority mail shipping, so your screen will get there in two or three days and its shipping is included in the price of the screen. And also, if you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries. Just follow the normal checkout procedure. To order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out to help you find the right screen. And then that will lead you to the online shopping website where you can buy the screen online. Okay, once you do receive the screen, 
connect it as I showed you. Then mount the screen in the middle mounting brackets, put the screws on, and then tighten the two screws at the bottom. Make sure this cable is inserted in its proper slots. Once you do that, put the two screws in at the top. Snap the screen bezel back on and put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers and then you'll be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrudkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen, screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.